If you like to take someone's photo, you use either a cell phone or a camera or a Polaroid. But if you like to capture the light in someone's eyes and make it live forever, you use one of these. World's first mirrorless medium format camera, Hasselblad X1D. Here it is! Hasselblad X1D comes in this classy box. Inside the box you can find a starting guide and warranty information, a cleaning cloth, a memory stick with user manuals and software in it, and underneath that the beautiful X1D. Underneath that the GPS module, a wrist strap, USB cable, a beautiful strap, and the charger with a lot of adapters. For the lens, my weapon of choice was XCD 45mm f3.5, which provides 35mm equivalent field of view. And that came with warranty information, a lens pouch, lens hood and the beautiful lens itself. Hasselblad X1D has a 51 megapixel 43.8 by 32.9 mm CMOS medium format sensor that they round up to 50 megapixel. To put that sensor size in perspective, I prepared this for you. This is a 1 over 3 inch sensor. You can find these kind of sensors in your smartphone. And this is the 1 inch sensor. You can find this sensor in the legendary Sony RX100 series. And this is the famous Micro Four Thirds sensor size. You can find this in Panasonic GH5. And this is the almighty APS-C sensor, which you can find in Sony A6500. And then of course we come to the full frame. This is how big it is. The crop factor is based on the full frame sensor. So how big is the medium format you may ask? Well, the medium format has been sitting here all along. Once again, I just blew your mind. I just blew your mind. So next time when someone says their cell phone takes great photos in low light, you should go, mm -hmm. sure. So if Sony a7R3 is BMW 7 series, Hasselblad X1D is the Lamborghini Centenario. This camera, much like a Lamborghini, is handmade. I don't know who's handmade this camera, but the grip is so amazing that it feels like she is holding my hand back. The attention to detail is absolutely insane. Everything about this camera is champagne and caviar. It is beautifully designed. The shutter sounds like classical music, like Tchaikovsky. That was Nutcracker. Take a look at the way you remove the battery. You slide this, the battery comes out but it's not falling down. You push it in, and there it is. The three inch TFT display is gorgeous. Actually, 24 bit gorgeous. It is bright and yes, it supports touch and pinch to zoom. The menu is very simple. You just slide it down and here it is. You can just touch these and then change that like a cell phone and it's very responsive. Wanna go to more settings, we have more settings here. And in just one day, you know where everything is. It shoots 16-bit photos with dynamic range up to 14 stops in RAW format. If you like some JPEG with that, you can turn that on as well. The detail you can recover from 14-stop dynamic range is insane. For example, take a look at this photo. Can you see the spiders? No? Well, let me play around with shadows and highlights. See, immediately we got the rest of the spider web back. Now, look again. 
Spider-Man, Spider-Man. And if you like flash photography, the lens has a leaf shutter. It has dual SD card slot, a micro HDMI, USB 3.0, microphone in, headphone out, Wi-Fi and GPS. Every time I hold this camera in my hand, I feel the passion this was built with. Every time I look at it, I see the hours that was put in it. There are a lot of cameras out there that will fight you, that doesn't want to work with you, that will pull your hair, poke your eye, kick you in the nuts. It will kill the vibe and it will kill the shoot. Hasselblad X1D just works with you. It creates a connection. It becomes a part of you. And if that is not the definition of love, I don't know what is. Remember when I said if Sony A7R3 is like BMW 7 series, then Hasselblad X1D is like Lamborghini Centenario? Yes, now think about parallel parking a BMW 7 versus a Lamborghini Centenario. Same thing goes for Hasselblad X1D too. It is built for certain things and it delivers those certain things in an amazing way. For example, I was told that this camera is not for action photography. But guess what? I did it anyways. I set my camera to manual focus and waited for my prey. And soon enough, I got this. You can see these photos in my Instagram as well. The link is in the description box below. Other than that, it shoots two frames per second it has contrast detection autofocus. You have to protect it from water. It shoots 1080p, 25 frames per second, 30 megabits per second video, and doesn't have a flip screen, and it is heavy. But it captures the soul, which reminds me, once I dated this girl, Nikki, who lived in the United Kingdom. Hi, Nikki. She believed her soul would be stolen if someone took her photo. We were teenagers when this happened. I wonder how she's dodging the security cameras, the satellite, the Facebook and everything today. But you know what? For the last couple of days, I've been thinking, I think she's right. When the day comes for me to return this camera to Hasselblad, my soul will go with it. This is one of the best thing that has ever been reviewed on my channel so far. I'll miss you, Hasselblad X1D. 
at this point I'm just pretending to take photos well thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it please hit that subscribe button I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen hit that subscribe button and play ding dong ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination we are in downtown LA we have to behave this is not the way to behave these businessmen are probably half my age anyway please let me know what you think about Hasselblad X1D in the comment section below in the comment section I'm leaning on leaning on a building and until I see you the next time take really good care of yourselves and horse chakalan smile smile is that how you smile smile not bad no, you're, you're good. And uh, no, I'll fix that in Photoshop. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah.